sweet. Went to the flea market with uh, mom and dad and my wife, and uh, I got a cable for a dollar, which lets me do this. <laughs> Play my iPod for my dad's old stereo. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I got, I have a ton of Matchbox cars. These are all my hot rods. I mean, double engine sedans. Look at those. And uh, I got them at flea markets here and there. I got these two today. The Red Baron, which is a famous car. They actually made that, and it's a real scale. And uh, 32 Vicky, and this is another Vicky I had. But um, this is all the hot rods. I've got fantasy cars. I've got Model Ts, dream cars, fantasy cars, motorcycles, 39 Fords, 57 Chevy. The other side is. I mean, these cases are full. I need more cases. These are all like fantasy cars. Really crazy stuff. I'll flip this one for you. A Model T. Hey, that one looks like mine right there. And I have about every version they ever made of that car. Flip it over. We have GTOs and Camaros and Corvettes and Chevelles and Ferraris. Race cars. I like race cars. Low riders, pickup trucks, uh, GTO. Camino, Camaro, look at that, 442, Cutlass, but yep, I need another case because I ran out of room. I'm going to make a nice big display case for these one day just because I can. I get them at Walmart, I get them at flea markets. They've been actually sitting up there on a shelf forever. But, back to the real car. Um, I have a long stainless quarter inch rod. Uh, that's how I'm doing my pin centering. And I was trying to figure out the gap between this plate and the bottom plate because it's kind of weird because this one goes inside the door. The bottom plate here goes inside the door and the other one goes outside um, of the frame right here. But um, they don't exactly meet flat. They meet like in a V. So there's plenty of room for bolts and stuff. Uh, I figured it out with a little creative clamping here that I need this plate and this plate to be three-eighths of an inch away from each other when the bushings are all done. And that's pretty much it. Um, the wings I had made on these things, I made them flat spots on purpose for a little while. I got it in there where I want, push it up nice and tight, and then I traced the line down with a marker. The thing is, these are going to have to be rounded off right there. That has to be rounded off, because that's where it hinges. It'll just turn into the sheet metal of the door. But um, we're making our bushings here. Now, these aren't the same width. Here's the, st the stainless one. Here's the bushing. Now, they're not the right width. I'm going to fill the rest of it with nylon or something. But I had these going from 3 eighths down a quarter of an inch. That was a lot of fun. Now, these hinges are the same. The top ones have to be trimmed. This is the top one I can tell because the tabs are the same. The bottom ones have a real nasty curve to the door. So, these are offset by, I think it was 3 sixteenths of an inch. Um, you can see it here. See how this is only so far away from that? But it doesn't matter, they have to be rounded off. It was just to kind of even them out. See, these have been, this one had to be sliced a little bit, but when that goes on the car, it actually goes out a lot further than that and get it off. It goes out here. I can feel, I can feel the rod fighting it because, you know, this has to be lined with this and this one's clamped down. But this one is like right there. So you'll be able to see between the hinges just a little bit, but hey, free hinges, homemade. Um, they're actually damn close to the originals. 
I have a Model A hinge here somewhere. Um, they use a little different design, but I like the top and bottom design with the bushings in the middle. It's all me. Um, I'm going to put my cars away. 43 years old and I collect matchbox cars. Or Hot Wheels, whatever they are, I forget. No, I'm not one of this, oh, it's a red line, I'm going to pay $300 for it. No, I'm like going to pay 50 cents for a car. I'm going to pay a quarter for a car. And uh, these are actually, all of these are brand new. I have a few that I've had forever. Oh, it's in here somewhere. Um, I ain't digging it out now. In there, I got one of those penny races that I've had since I was like, God, nine. Uh, but there's the centering. A stainless rod, quarter inch, top to bottom. And I'm not going to cut this thing off. I'll cut it up yet. But when everything's said and done, it's going to be cut, cut, welded top and bottom. Making hinges is a lot of work. Got to pay attention to where it's going to swing, what it's going to hit, what it's not going to hit. Is it going to clear? They don't just fall into place. And I think, gee, does this have to be a little higher to meet this? No, because I remember when it was on the body, there was a big gap there anyway. Um, and like I said, this plate is flush with the uh, the whole dashboard, but the wood, it gave it a lot of play, so the hinges didn't sit flat here. They actually sat spread apart like that, because the body isn't square. The body bows out as it goes towards the back. And the brake lights. I'm missing one. It's around somewhere. Oh, my steering wheel is looking sweet. That thing is too awesome. Um, I'm messing with hinges, messing with bushings still. Um, rocking right along. This is a lot of work. This is a lot of uh, precision. Measure this, measure that. Is that straight? Like I said, you know. Um, the little tabs have yet to be welded because I have to get them working first. I have to get the damn bushings together. You gotta get these damn bushings together. I need a. Uh, Probably a quarter inch and a half inch reamer because the stainless isn't exactly the right size on the inside it isn't half inch but I'm rambling on really didn't do much in here today just mess with my radio get my Tesla going here Oh, missed it. Wish you could hear it. Lamborghini Fiero. I had the doors right here. Making the hinges for that. Oh, I got these at the flea market. Let me kill the radio. I got these at the flea market for five bucks. Guide uh, lights. I've seen these on the front of old cars like um, the GTO. I love the arrowheads. This one's broken, but who cares? Five bucks. Maybe cleaned up. I have both of them. I'll probably put them on eBay anyway. Get my money and then some. But a uh, great Sunday out with uh, the family. Some of the family. I can't wait to see these things working. I've got so much work into these things. It ain't funny. But I'll do what I can today. Now, when uh, making the holes, when I copied the old hinges, these I made to 0.3 so they have a little play up and down. I got a little wiggle wiggle on both of them. And if you take a square and put them up against them, you see the. If I could hold with one hand, hold on a second here. Look at that. Beautiful. It's hard to hold one hand, but. Puts right up against it, no problem. I just got to trim off, I think it was 316. <laughs> and there's the tube in the way. That I had to make that uh, notch for. Been excited. These things are gonna go on pretty soon. I <sighs> almost want to go to Dad's and uh, machine them back a little bit. 
Oh, I hate waiting. I just hate waiting. But you guys have a good day. Go work on your hot rod or something.